Welcome back to my farm. Now I'm going to give you a compilation of Wheels of Fortune. Every day the truck will pull up in front of your farm and you have the opportunity to spin. When you spin, you get prizes. Uh, you will never lose with this. Now if you're lucky, you'll get the stars. And the stars mean gold coins. Now for those of you who want to make money, this is an excellent way of actually increasing your coinage. Now, personally, I don't aim for the jackpots, even though it would be very, very nice. Uh, I've tried, uh, I must admit, uh, I've spun fast, like I've just done then. I've spun slow. Uh, I've tried to spin just one or two and hopefully land on the stars. Uh, I've done it to the left and I've done it to the right. But as of yet, I've not had the jackpot. I've got close. Now, I just got an, uh, a lolly there. Uh, now, lolly is very, very useful. Uh, I can uh, sell those uh, and make uh, some nice coinage from that as well. So if you're looking to make uh, coins, uh, the Wheel of Fortune gives you one chance every day to actually get something and sell it. Now there are other benefits. Uh, you can pick up some nice ornaments or some bad ornaments. You can pick up some items that uh, take uh, a few hours to make uh, or can be made very quickly. Sometimes you get eggs, sometimes sushi, sometimes clothing, sometimes jewelry, uh, expansion materials. Uh, every day the wheel changes. It's never the same. Now there's a spin again. I wish that were a star. Then that would have been 8,800 coins in the kitty. Ha! I don't believe it. Another spin again. Oh my god, why couldn't there have been stars? That would have been 17,000 coins. Still, that soup's nice. I can accept that. Now, I like the Wheels of Fortune. Uh, it adds a nice little uh, game element to the game. Uh, it's free. You don't have to spend any money. And basically, you make money from it. Uh, you get vouchers like this, which you can be used, uh, or can be used to make lures. Uh, and then from the lures, you can go fishing. Uh, you can catch fish, which gives you more XP, which allows you to increase your level. You can then sell the fillets, or you can make a product that uses fish fillets. Now, bicycle—that's one of the ornaments that some people like. Personally, I hate the bicycles. Uh, I've got so many they just sit there and uh, I rarely use them. Yay, another voucher. I can use that. What I would like though is some more gold vouchers on this. Or maybe uh, for one of the Wheels of Fortune, Supercell, uh, what you could do, instead of just giving us produce, give us a Wheel of Fortune that comes up, say, once a week, that just has vouchers, uh, but with a different number of vouchers. So maybe one item, or two items, or three items uh, in each box. So imagine, like, you spin it, and it says you win five vouchers. You spin it, and you get three vouchers. That would be a wonderful addition to this game. Uh, instead of just giving us one item, so here I get a nice ring. Okay, now ring's really useful. I can sell that for a lot of coin. Uh, but uh, if I could get three rings, uh, if I could get two rings, uh, maybe ten rings from spinning this, uh, that would be wicked. Yeah, a potato. Wonderful. I love spuds. Nice jacket potato. Oh, with chili con carne. That would be awesome. Look at it just sitting there. It's beautiful. What will I get this time, I wonder? Eh, hey, another soup. Tomato soup. I like soups. They're good. So happy I never got the ornament. Round and round she goes. No, I shouldn't have said anything. I jinxed the Wheel of Fortune. <sighs> Another one for the storage. You can keep flashing, Mr. Diamond, but I'm not going to buy you. Now, every day you get a Wheel of Fortune. Uh, 
why not post uh, some comments about what you get? If you get the jackpot, let me know. I'd love seeing people get all three of those stars. Okay, well that's it for today, so see y'all, bye bye.